Zero serve zero. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last quarter final of the 2015 Suncoast Open. I'm Laura McCormick with the WRT, and joining me on the mic today is WRT pro Anthony Herrera. Welcome, Anthony. Hi, Laura. Well, our match here today features number one, Alex Cardona, versus number zero eight seed, zero. Jaime Martel. This should be a pretty interesting match. Both players representing for Mexico, Jaime from Chihuahua and Cardona from Juarez. Nice shot by Jaime right there. It's gonna be a zero pretty good matchup zero. as Jaime's pretty pumped for this uh, for this quarterfinal match. I was talking with him last night. He really wants to get the win over Cardona. Yeah, that would be a major win for Martel, pushing him through to the semifinals here. He definitely has the skill to skill to do it as well. He does. You know, these are actually two of my favorite players to watch here on the WRT. I think, Thanks, although Laura. Cardona has always been, <laughs> don't, zero star, don't be zero. jealous, Anthony. <laughs> but um, I think we've really seen Cardona, even though he's been in the top three, he's still constantly improving his game. Um, and I think we've really seen Jaime start to raise up the ranks and his mental game has gotten a lot stronger. So to me, it's interesting to see One players adapt as, as they grow here with the WRT. Definitely. Jaime had a pretty big loss last weekend against uh, Jake Bredenbeck where he was in control most of the match. And, and uh, a loss like that kind of gives you extra motivation to come back and do better the next weekend. Two serve zero. Yeah, and we've seen Jaime in some really competitive quarterfinal matches, so I'm sure he's pumped to make it here to the semis, although with two aces in a row, Cardona is showing off some of his number one dominance here. Yeah, Cardona Three gets into zero. a comfort zone on his serve. It could be problematic for Jaime. These courts are concrete. They're a little bit faster. The floor is slow, so off of the bounce, uh, it slows up. Which gives the drive serve a lot of value. Wow, <laughs> it's just amazing to see the athleticism between these players right now. Absolutely. Here's Jaime Martel's opportunity. Zero three. Nice reach right there by Jaime. One serves three. And a side out for Alex Cardona. Three serves one. All right, there's a short serve. Side out for Jaime Martel. Uh, both these players are sponsored by Gearbox Racquetball. If you want to check out the new Beltran collection with both players happen to be using and the gear that they're wearing, go to GearboxRB.com. Check out the products there. Exactly. We have an amazing screening department back at Gearbox and uh, can customize your shirts, get, get you looking good on and off the court. Uh, they, they put Research in a lot of work one. to make you guys look good. Special thanks to Gearbox Racquetball. All 
right, so four serves one. So far, a pretty tight opening here to game one. You know, Cardona's up by three. There Jaime goes. He's going to take a timeout, try and recollect his thoughts. Yeah, definitely frustrated. We'll be right back after this quick break and see if he can shake it off. And we're back live in game one of our last quarterfinal here today at the 2015 Suncoast Open. We have Alex Cardona out there on the court with a 5-1 lead over Jaime Martel. I'm Laura McCormick with the WRT and joining me with his professional racquetball insights is Anthony Herrera. Bob serves one. We have our referee Brent Walters doing an outstanding job here so far this weekend. He really has. It's uh, to have a professional ref like him. It keeps keeps the games flowing and keeps the players in check. So we're really appreciative for Brent to be able to do this. Sometimes we might not like it, but in the end, it's uh, <laughs> always better. <laughs> it's better for everyone. Get by both players hitting the floor, just short. This is where we Six see one. Jaime's mental game kind of um, falter, I guess I could say, because he starts out very strong, hits his shots, but as soon as his opponents start getting a little bit of a run on him, he can lose it. He can gain it back, which is a good thing, but uh, that is his biggest, biggest weakness right now. Yeah, that's a good observation. We've been talking a little bit all weekend about the mental focus Seven and one. how important it is. And so it's a could be a big determining factor, especially against the number one. A lot of it can be body language, too. Yeah. I mean, if you just watch his after a rally's done, uh, just come back and his oh, shoulders ace. drop and he's kind of like hitting the back wall or... You really got to stay one. composed in there and not give your opponent any kind of uh, an inch to know what's going on in your head. Yeah, and I think that's something that Cardona does really well when he's on the court. It's hard to tell what he's thinking. He doesn't show too much emotion when he's out there, and I think that adds a lot to his game. I don't know if he's thinking too much, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brent, All right, and there's anything. Brent, yeah, giving off a warning. Now, I've noticed that that can help some players. I know at our last tournament, Jake Bredenbeck received a couple warnings, and it almost one. kept him more contained, and he was able to channel that energy into benefiting him. So let's see if Jaime Martel can do the same. Exactly. Kind of going back to my comment about nothing's going on in the Cardona's head, I, I mean, one more so... Nine. He's so I'm natural. Out. It's yeah. uh, very natural for him to be on the court. And I think that being said, just being an athlete, because we were playing volleyball the other day, and he had never played played this, or volleyball, volleyball. on the court. And just to see him track the ball, it was it was very athletic thing to do. Yeah. You know? not every, even I was having trouble. Like, I didn't know where it was going, but he could track it just knowing the angles. And I think it just comes intuitive. Right, more of a natural instinct. And that's something that's been said about Cardona, um, particularly on the racquetball court, as we normally watch him, is he's one of the most naturally talented players. And he actually has an interesting challenge where he has to work at the um, fitness or training part, in particular for racquetball. I know he hits the gym and he trains, but fine-tuning his workouts to then match racquetball and pairing that with his natural talent is something that can make him... Exactly. Super outstanding. It, it takes a lot of dedication, especially for a player like that, because he already has the talent, so if th he's already there. But then it's that much more dedication to go in and start refining that talent and figuring out what his game's gonna, what his game's gonna be, or how he wants it to be. Uh, but very, very talented, athletic person. Uh, there's, you know, other people out there that I've seen the same type of athleticism, but I, th 
I think it's a rare breed out there, and he's got it. Yeah. Non-cert, one cert. Pretty cool nice. to play with him because of that. It's nice too because I think a lot of the players on the WRT are forcing him to challenge himself and 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 better himself as well, not just basing everything off that natural talent. I don't know if m most people know uh, Cardona's nine. career outside of the WRT, but he was one of the most dominant juniors out there. And unfortunately, we lost him to, you know, I would say financial Ooh. difficulties of uh, becoming a pro because for the travel issues. Um, non serves but too. But since the WRT's inception, he, you know, we gave him an avenue to come back. So it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's, gr it's great to have a player like that back. Yeah, and give him some opportunity here to grow his professional career. Ooh, nice get from Cardona. Ooh, nice effort from Jaime. It kind of dies there in the back of the court. If you guys notice, these guys are doing like a lot of passing and they, they know each other's games and especially these courts too. Uh, if they're trying to kill it and they don't absolutely hit it perfect, it's unforgiving. So uh, you see a lot of passes making their opponents move. They're working They're working the match. They're not just uh, <laughs> Ten serves too. looking for the kill for that point. They're working the match. Ref's oh gonna wow. call it good. Jaime didn't see it that way. Ooh. It, it was right over the line. That's a technical. You cursed. You cursed. Yeah, Jaime just got a technical. Eleven serve uh, one. He he was a little frustrated with that one, and I, I kind of agree with Jaime on that one. It was he was looking for the screen ball, not necessarily the short ball. The serve was good. He was just a little close to him. He couldn't see. And for those of you at home, the technical is a loss of a point, so that means it's 111, although Cardona's scoring now, it's 112. It's one of those well points where one. Jaime's really got to try and pull it together. It's almost like get off the court and just kind of go in there fresh. Yeah, you know, I think Put in your mind that it's 0-0 zero, zero or so. Yeah, it needs a complete fresh refocus. That's got to be challenging. 13-1. It's got to be challenging when you're kind of your own coach and your own cheerleader out there, and you have to come out in that timeout and really psych yourself up to get back out there. Exactly. The best thing for Jaime to do right now is really try and get back on the box and put a little run together. Well, here he goes. Let's see if he can do just that. One serves 13. Switched up that second serve, and Cardona sided out pretty quickly. 13 serves, one. If, if right. Cardona's going to be missing like that, Jaime's really got to take advantage of it right now. One serves, 13. Side out there for Cardona. Jaime looks like he's trying to stay a little more positive out one. there. <laughs> Switching up with a little bit of a smile on his face now. Let's see what he can do against this serve. I always tell uh, people you got to stay, keep emotions out outside the court. Uh, emotions can work for you. If you get on a high, you can start rolling balls out, but they can also work against you. So it's one of those things you can't really control. Anything that you can't control, you just want to kind of leave it outside the court, and you go in with your game. 14 you serves one. You can hit down the lines. You know what you can do, and that's what you execute on the court. That's good advice. Game point for Cardona. 
<laughs> Kaime's kind of giving up on this game a little bit. He's ready to go to game two. Well, let's see if he can switch it around after losing 15-1 to Alex Cardona. We'll be right back with more of game two from the Suncoast Open. And we're back live at the top of game two between Alex Cardona and Jaime Martel. We had Cardona taking game Johnson. one, 15 one. I'm Laura McCormick with the WRT and joining me on the microphone for this match is Anthony Herrera. And we have our official referee, Brent Walters out there refing this match here today. Of course, we'd like to invite all of you watching at home to share the live streaming link on your Facebook or Twitter page. Go ahead and zero tag zero at zero. World Arbol Tour and give a little hashtag WRT Live, and that will automatically enter you to win a free Gearbox giveaway. Plus, know that you're sharing with the world that you're watching live racquetball and helping grow the sport that you know and love. Well, that's going to start with a side out then zero. for Jaime Martel. Let's see if he's switched up his mental focus against Alex Cardona. Yeah, nice shot. And that's a Three shot zero rally zero. right there. Sometimes when you want to want a match so bad, <laughs> you end up playing one of your worst games. <laughs> <laughs> like too much want. Yeah, Jeremy was talking about that previously. We had Jeremy Best on the microphone Zero as one. well. And he says sometimes you can get over psyched for, for a match. One serves one. Wow, nice shot. Ball kind of cracked out in the back back court right there, and I mean, was one able to track one. it. Starting off pretty good in this first game, or second game, sorry. Yeah, it one seems to one. be a little bit more in control here in game one for Jaime. Ooh, big serve there for Cardona, an ace. See if Heikney can keep his mental focus. Two serves one. One serves two. All right, side out for side two out here one. so far in game two. Score is still two serving one. Ooh. Nice selection there from Cardona. 
<laughs> he rips the ball. It's fun kind of watching him. <laughs> yeah, definitely Three one of the one. more powerful players on tour. And the winner of this match here will continue on tonight to the semifinals to play Andre Faria. And our first semifinal of the evening will happen at 5 p.m. between Jake Bredenbeck and David Bobby Horn. Four serves, one. All right, there's the side out for Jaime. A little frustrated with the refing, but so far staying focused in game two. Yeah. And I think that's part of the growth that One we were talking four. about that we've seen from Jaime. That aspect of the game is just the hardest thing to learn. <laughs> it takes years and years of losses. But it's the person who can perfect that the fastest <laughs> is also <laughs> gonna grow the fastest. And even when you learn, it doesn't mean that <laughs> you actually do it either. It's and Anthony, how long have you been playing racquetball? <laughs> I know you went you've went. you been one. playing professionally for quite some time. 2009? Yeah, I mean, it's just like most of the people on tour, you'll hear that they played as soon as they could start picking up the racket. <laughs> but uh, since I was five, All right. um, I, I've been on the courts. Uh, and then I started the, my professional career when I was about One 17. Serves four. My first, my first professional tournament was at the U.S. Open, uh, and I was 16. I had to play Cliff Swain, which oh was wow. a lot of fun. Time out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jaime Martel going to go ahead and take a timeout. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. And we're back live here in game two of our last quarterfinal of One the day at four. the 2015 Suncoast Open. We have Jaime Martel. It's one serving four. Four serves one. One serves four. <laughs> four serves one. All right, and it's still four serving one here in game two. Oh. Side out. And a side out as these two are pretty evenly matched here. One serves four. One serving four. Ref's calling it good as Jaime will get back to serving. Two serves four. Wow, nice grip from Jaime right there. And there's that great athleticism Time we were talking about, and it's going to force Cardona to go ahead and call a timeout. We'll be right back with more of Game 2 from the Suncoast Open. <laughs> and we're back live in Game 2 of our last quarterfinal match here today at the 2015 Suncoast Open, which means this match will determine who will move on to the semifinals tonight. 
Our first match at 5 p.m. is set between Jake Bredenbeck and David Bobby Horn. Our 6 p.m. match, we know for sure, will feature Andre Paria, who defeated Sebastian Franco in the match before this. And the winner of this quarterfinal will continue on to play Andre Paria Round tonight in. at 6 p.m. I'm Laura McCormick with the Three WRT, and joining me on the mic is Anthony Herrera. <laughs> nice shot. And with that, Jaime is going to tie up for game it. two, 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, he might find his comfort zone in here for the second game. Let's see if he can get under Cardona's skin a little bit. Four serves four. self-defense action there <laughs> by Jaime. <laughs> Ended up being a good shot. Yeah, completely different game two right Four here. We four. saw Cardona really dominating in game one and a very frustrated Jaime Martel. Martel seems to have cooled off and is now tied up with Cardona. Looking much more relaxed out there. Five serves four. And with that, Jaime Martel is in the lead for the first time. It's defense. So Anthony, do you want to place a wager here on this match? Who do you think is going to continue on in the semifinals later tonight? Four serves five. I think uh, Jake and Andre are pretty good, pretty good bet for the semifinals tonight. Um, also, Bobby Horn would be a pretty good one I, if I were going to place a wager. Those those three would probably for sure be in the semis tonight. <laughs> Bob that is four. some incredible insight. It seems you may have been listening to what I've been saying here this whole match. But just between Cardona and Martel, I'm curious, who would move on to the semifinals? Yeah, I would, I would say the, the winner of this match. Would four the winner five. of this match. You're starting to get under my skin. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll... No, I it aside. doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> We've heard enough from you. <laughs> and there's a point for Cardona. Five stars, five. It's all tied up, five, five. Who knows who could win this match and move on to the semifinals. If you want to answer at home and give a straight answer, please leave it on our Facebook and Twitter page, at World Arball Tour. Five stars, five. Yeah, Jaime looking really comfortable there. That shot had a lot of confidence in it. Six stars, five. Makes a difference when you're hitting solid and you're versus when you're not. Incredible get by Cardona right there. Gave him a setup for to put away that point. Five serve six. Cardona kind of jammed up there in that corner. Six serves five. And Martel still up by one here in game two. Six 
Seven serves five. There is some confident racquetball right there. Yeah. Martel looking really solid, and this is what we've seen from him in past quarterfinals. Let's see if it's enough to push him through. Yeah. Got to that ball, but didn't quite make it. Three points in a row here for Jaime. Now that's got to give you some confidence as a player, what do you think is going through Martel's mind right now, Anthony? He's definitely feeling comfortable. He's, he's now he's saying instead of uh, what shot should I take, he's saying this is what I'm going to take and this is what I'm I'm moving him. You know, when you have that control, you, you just know what you're going to do instead of questioning it in your head. non serves five. I oh wow, oh that. wow, and then Cardona gets it. Wow, <laughs> that was kind of crazy. I don't think Cardona thought Jaime got that first one or he thought it was two bounces, but he still went after it, kept it alive, and now he's back in the service box. Yeah, both of them. That was <laughs> interesting. Bob serves nine. Ref's going to call that one an avoidable point for Cardona. Six serves nine. Six nine. Ooh. Some nice defense there from Jaime. But another point for Cardona. Seven serves nine. Cardona. These guys are trying to like soften it up a little bit, placing it. The only thing is, is uh, they're lifting up at their end of their shot, so the ball's staying up. It's kind of hard to Eight do after you nine. played a couple of rounds, and uh, now you're in the second game. You could make sure you keep your legs and keep good form. Nice shot. Time out. Good time out by Jaime. All right, these guys are going to take a quick break, and so will we. Don't go anywhere. There's more of game two. And we're back live here in game two of our quarterfinal between Alex Cardona and Jaime Martel. We've seen a lot of control here and mental focus from Jaime Martel in game two. Answering back after Cardona Not defeating searching. him in game one, 15-1. Interesting to see that kind of turnaround. And here they go, back in game two. Wow. What a stupid shot right there by <laughs> Cardona. Just ripped it. Eight serves, nine. Cardona's still down by one right now. And a side out for Jaime is going to keep Cardona down by one point. Non serves eight. Oh. 
Ooh, what a return there from Cardona deep in the court and no chance of returning that. Eight serves nine. Nine serves nine. All tied up now, nine, nine. I may uh, mentally replaying that there for himself. 10 serves nine. As Cardona takes the lead in game two. Cardona another serving. Another ace serve. Serving well right now. 11 serves nine. And that's the change of pace right there. Now Jaime kind of getting on himself. Should definitely take a time well out and not. break Cardona's momentum. What a rally there. One of the longer rallies here and Cardona winning it for another point. Putting him within two of potentially closing out 13 the match. 13 serves nine. It's just crazy. Great. Crazy how it can change and switch like that and he can get so many points in a row. And put him in a winning position. It was really all about the serving. Serve set him up. It's like the floor is a little wet naturally it's pretty hot and humid down here in sarasota florida where we've been experiencing lots of rain as we enter a more uh, tropical thunder i guess type situation here as we move through september but from what little sun i did catch today when i would manage to leave the racquetball courts it looks like it's starting to get sunny again here in sarasota florida for the sun coast open for the sun coast open Nine serves 13. Ref Brent Walters issuing another warning to Jaime Martel. Yep. Trying to keep it clean out there. 13 serves none. Brent, Brent does really well of uh, controlling the game right there. He doesn't want to control the match, so he doesn't call the technical. Uh, Jaime was, you know, a frustrated there. He ha could have all right all intents and purposes he could have called the technical and mm -hmm. give, given Jaime the loss of point but he, knew no. he didn't want to control it that could have totally changed the momentum so it's good for him to just get on the court and said that's a warning if Jaime does it again he'll obviously call the technical yep then we had Brent calling an avoidable and that puts Jaime back I'm in out. the service box where he chooses to take a timeout we'll be right back in just a few moments with more of game two And we're back live in our quarterfinal between Jaime Martel and Alex Cardona. The winner of this match will continue on tonight to the semifinals at 6 p.m. where they will play Andre Parilla. And right before that at 5 p.m. we'll have our first semifinal match between Jake Redenbeck and David Bobby Horn. I know those two have been 
jonesing for a rematch. So should be a pretty interesting matchup later tonight as the competition keeps rising here on the WRT. Of course, we'd like to thank you all for watching and supporting the WRT. And don't forget, you can catch 13. all of our past events on our YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash world racquetball. Side out for Alex Cardona. No, and Lord, this is uh, this has been one of, one of our nine. better events. Uh, every event is awesome, but I definitely <laughs> encourage people to come out next year uh, if if they have plans or if they are able to come out. Uh, Siesta Beach is right down the street. The hospitality here, the club, the facility, all all brand new. Uh, just just a great event. Yeah, overall. you can make a really nice weekend out of it. Staying at one of the Hottest beaches here in Florida. Great hotels. It's a nice little area. Come and make a weekend out of it. Bring your whole family. There's lots for everyone to do down here. 13 serves none. Jaime looking solid there. He was in the right spot, had his feet set. 9-13. And now back in the service box. Thirteen serves none. All right. Well, they've been stuck here at thirteen nine for a couple service attempts. Let's see if Cardona can switch that up. Oh, diving wow. kill there by Cardona. And that's going to give him his first match point here of the day. Fourteen serves none. Unbelievable. Ooh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are just like reading each other like a book, but just amazing that they're able to get to some of these shots. That's the level of athlete here. We've got some pros out there on the court. These two have played each other several times, so always fun to watch. It's hitting the floor. Non serves fourteen. I may tell himself that it's not over yet. <laughs> Ten fourteen. I may hope and force <laughs> for somebody to call a replay there. <laughs> Second match point there for Cardona. Ooh, and nice Jaime pass. holding on and siding out. 10 serves 14. Another great rally here in game two. And this will be Alex Cardona's third opportunity at match point. These guys are giving it their best out there and leaving a lot of sweat on the floor. 
As we said, it's pretty humid here. But at least I think a lot of the players had an opportunity to adjust to the humidity a little bit last week when we were at the Grace Warrior Atlanta Open in Atlanta, Georgia. And now this week here at the Sarasota YMCA for the Suncoast Open where it's been pretty humid. And with that, Cardona match. closes out the match. Ending game two, 15-10 over Jaime Martel. We'll go ahead and get some words from Alex Cardona. Thank you, Anthony Herrera. Thank and you. And we'll see you all for the semifinals later tonight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Alex Cardona wrapping up our quarterfinals. Congratulations to his competitor, Jaime Martel. We're going to go ahead and get Alex Cardona out here on the court and hear some words from the champ as he prepares to go into the semifinals later tonight at 6 p.m. Felicidades. Ugaste. Wait. Ugaste un gran partido. ¿Cómo te sientes con esta victoria? Pues nuevamente me siento muy feliz por, por haber ganado cuartos de final. Espero me vaya bien el, ahorita en la tarde y, y pues ojalá y gane el torneo otra vez para repetir el campeonato. Y gracias a toda la gente que nos viene a ver y a mi novia, mis familiares, amigos que, que me ven por, por el internet. Muchas gracias por el apoyo que me dan. ¿Qué piensas de tu próximo oponente, André Paría? Eh, es un jugador muy, muy rápido, entonces espero y jugué la semana pasada con él, espero y, y ganar otra vez, eh, echarle todas las ganas, ya que pues todos son buenos jugadores y no hay que, no hay que confiarse de nadie. Felicidades, we'll see you tonight at 6 p.m. where he'll play Andre Perea right here back at the Sarasota YMCA. So thank you, Alex Cardona. Thank you all for watching here. And don't forget to come back later tonight at 5 p.m. We'll have the semifinals where we have David Bobby Horn. We have David Bobby Horn playing Jake Bredenbeck. And then at 6 p.m. we will have Alex Cardona versus Andre Perea.